சாரதமா பாடுங்கோ ஜெகநாத் நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் லட்சுமி நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் 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 விருந்தாவனஸ்திதம் நாராயணம் தேவ விருந்தைரபீஷ்டிதம் நாராயணம் விருந்தாவனஸ்திதம் நாராயணம் தேவ விருந்தைரபீஷ்டிதம் நாராயணம் தினக்கரமத்தியமம் நாராயணம் திவ்ய கனகாம்பரதரம் நாராயணம் தினக்கரமத்தியமம் நாராயணம் திவ்ய கனகாம்பரதரம் நாராயணம் நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் லட்சுமி நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் லட்சுமி நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் பங்கஜலோச்சனம் நாராயணம் பக்த சங்கடமோச்சனம் நாராயணம் பங்கஜலோச்சனம் நாராயணம் பக்த சங்கடமோச்சனம் நாராயணம் கருணாபயோநிதி நாராயணம் பவ்ய சரணாகத நிதி நாராயணம் கருணாபயோநிதி நாராயணம் பவ்ய சரணாகத நிதி நாராயணம் நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் லட்சுமி நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் லட்சுமி நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் ரட்சித்த ஜகத்ரயம் நாராயணம் சக்கரசிக்ஷித்த சுரஜயம் நாராயணம் ரட்சித்த ஜகத்ரயம் நாராயணம் சக்கரசிக்ஷித்த சுரஜயம் நாராயணம் அஜானநாசகம் நாராயணம் சுத்த விஜானபாஷகம் நாராயணம் அஜானநாசகம் நாராயணம் சுத்த விஜானபாஷகம் நாராயணம் நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் லட்சுமி நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் லட்சுமி நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் ஸ்ரீவத்சூஷணம் நாராயணம் நந்த கோவத்சோஷணம் நாராயணம் ஸ்ரீவத்சூஷணம் நாராயணம் நந்த கோவத்சோஷணம் நாராயணம் ஸ்ரீகண்டசேவிதம் நாராயணம் நித்திய வைகுண்டவாசிதம் நாராயணம் ஸ்ரீகண்டசேவிதம் நாராயணம் நித்திய வைகுண்டவாசிதம் நாராயணம் நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் லட்சுமி நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் லட்சுமி நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் லட்சுமி நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் பஜி நாராயணம் ஹரியோ
गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव ईश्वर गुरु देव वसुदेव देवकी परम कृष्ण वंदे जगत समस्त जन रिलीजियन फिलोसफी इज मिस और अब्यूस्ड और रिजेक्ट लॉट ऑफ पीपल से दिस नॉट माई कप ऑफ टी एंड की बबी आर सम पीपल सपोजिंग टुमारो यू से सैटरडे यू कॉम दैट मैन एज पावर्स राइट that man can tell you your future you will find this all is not it misused abused or rejected so it is high time to know the truthful religion demystify all these so called concepts you have to demystify what is demystification i have been telling you from day one today also i will tell this what you see many of you people not you means you many of the audience many people they wait for their already conceived concepts he will talk about this he will talk about that and they miss all those things we say he is talking generally and so he is talking general but what we talk generally is more important than your verses so now listen at least see the topic we are taking most of the time is rituals coupled with contemplation rituals coupled with contemplation what is exactly that what does it do how does it do i have told in the first class it's all now it's again i see supposing there is somebody there is somebody who just believes in his efforts no let me start with the lower category because this there again there is a higher category there is somebody who just believes do what you have to do but you must become number one rich man they don't care about the means that is the lowest category next category they say we should do but we should not be caught by the law next category we should do but do morally ethically there is no need for god and all that right these are the people who are all the time involved in what they see results and the actions being the cause cause actions results 
ಕಾರ್ಯ ಕಾರಣ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾರಣ ದೀಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೊ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬಿ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ಗೀತಾ ಭೂತಾನಿಯಾಂತಿ ಭೂತೇಜ್ಯ right people court elements materials through their efforts devaniyanti devaprataha people who see gods worship gods and people who are who are keen on me worship me different types let us understand bhutani very clear you understand rituals how does a ritual work ritual works you pray to god he will give you absolutely right absolutely right you pray he gives right this superstition this self is going to say it will give you if you pray why because they need your food so they have to court you parasparam bhavayanta shreya param avapsita but let us try to see whether through our common sense it's workable Shastra says you are God. Shastra says you are God. So therefore, you have all the powers in you. Please listen. Please listen. Just do not think this is preliminary. If you understand this, you don't have to come from next one. This is all the ultimate. You are God. so what to decide that you can be what to decide that you can be i want to be god simple what is god who doesn't depend anything on matter or bmi he lives in his own glory you can do that mahatma has done tapon maharaj has done through his own living example you can do that it's to some duties also some pujas some duties right and then you will get some good results gods also bless you more than gods since you are yourself god you have invoked the, that godliness in you to do an act and that invoking the godliness godliness in you keeps clarity of thought agitations less agitations less because you have now believed in some greater power invoking it through that support less agitations more clarity your actions will bring you better results of course god also blesses you but you don't even need god because you are god what god you want it's not that i am an atheist i am saying you are god you only have to invoke that you only have to invoke that whatever you invoke you get you invoke yourself as that you get that results you don't need anything there are two three examples one example i'll give you one great mahatma was sleeping because he likes to expose himself to nature sunlight and all that on deserts hot sun alexander was coming to india alexander was coming to 
India. He saw this lonely man and all their troops coming. Find out who this uh, uh, madman is in this hot sun sleeping on bare land. Who this man is? People went. He didn't reply. They are. They said, "Do you know who we are? Do you know who you are? We are. We can kill you. We are Alexander's people." This man didn't reply. If Alexander was not there, they could have taken law into their hands. When the boss is there, they cannot take the law into their hands. They had to go and report to him. They went and reported. He said, let me see this man, impertinent man. He comes to him and, who are you? This man out of contempt says, I am dying the dog. <laughs> no, no, he didn't say. He says, do you know who I am? He kept quiet. I am Alexander the Great. Who are you? I am dying the dog. You know I can kill you? He didn't man reply. Why are you so indifferent? Not even caring for your life. He didn't reply. Then Alexander the Great, Alexander the Great, realizing his freedom and independence, his being superior to him itself, he doesn't bother about him. He said, if I am not already Alexander the Great, any day I would have preferred to be Diaz in the dog. I would have preferred to be Diaz in the dog. That's called independence. Because only a man who depends on BMI has to be afraid of anybody, including gods. If you have known you are not a BMI, you are the self. For whose sake? You have to be afraid. All that come in this Upanishad, then other Upanishads are. Yes. Same words will come. Same words. This Upanishad also it will come. Right? Yeah. Who may have to be afraid? Who may have to go? For what? whose sake he has to do something? For whose sake he has to do something? So, pure materialist, believing in some superpower, they invoke the God in them. To that extent, their mind becomes clear. They are surrendering, agitations less, better results. Also, God also will bless. Again, what is God? Brahman doesn't do anything. Brahman doesn't bless, doesn't curse. What is God? Other than Brahman, total. If you have decided to be devoted to God, you have invoked that goodness of God in you, whole world will be positive towards you. The entire world will be positive towards you. Again, you get better results. So that is the concept of God. You understand? That's the concept. It works though you do superstitiously. It works this way. You may just pray, do, still your prayers are answered because you are doing the right thing with knowledge or without knowledge. Right? So, but this Upanishad says all that you will get through this method of invoking. Praying to God, doing rituals are all finite. This Upanishad says, why do you want that? They are all finite. Why do you want it? Right? And then there are some people who want supernatural powers. You, you know, few years back, about 20 years back, this ESP, extrasensory perception, see the, seeing the aura and all that, was more popular in a communist Russia than anywhere else. In communist Russia. I know one man took a machine, comes to some house and uh, does something and see your aura. And they give him a lot of money. If I say, you are God, nobody cares for you. Right? 
So that's how it works. Your own faith. Your own faith makes things happen. Are you clapping too much? No, I have authority of not many unknown things to you. You Gita, all of you know. So Gita itself, what it says, let us see. Sattvanurupa sarvasya sreddha bhavati bharata sreddha mayoyam purushaha yo yatra sreddha sa yeva saha. Sattvanurupa sarvasya sreddha. According to this, his intelligence is his feet. Sattva intelligence. Sattvanurupa sreddha. Sattvanurupa sarvasya sreddha. Everybody's faith is according to his intelligence. Then what? Sreddha mayo yam purushaha. A person is his faith. One statement. Everybody's faith is according to his intelligence. Second, whatever is his faith, that is that man. Third, yo yat sreddha sayeva saha. Whatever faith he has, that he will become, that he is. Right? You understand? This is what Krishna says in uh, Govardhana Giri episode. They were doing, they were doing to propitiate Indra for rains. Krishna says, why are you doing this to that man? Stop it. He gives the logic. Can even God give you reward for what works you have not done? No. Can even God withhold the rewards that you have deserved? Then everything depends upon your work. Why depend on God and do that? The whole message of Govardhan Giri episode is worship God out of love, not expecting anything. If you want anything, your own karma will bring it. Do your karmas. All results are connected to karma. Do your karma, results will come. God worship out of love, gratitude. Right? So, First category, only materialists. Second category, people who are doing their duties plus invoking God. Through this way, their mind goes on getting clarity, more and more, less agitations, they become efficient. They get more powers. Right? And then, they, you know him, he's the son of so-and-so. So they try to uh, project their tradition, their lineage, their tradition, their lineage. And by doing that, to getting married and producing children, Santati. Right? So that is called Pitruloka. You are trying to do the cause of Pitris. Next, some people want supernatural rivers. So they meditate, Upasakas, Devi Upasakas, and all that. Devi Upasaka are positive, but there are also Upasakas of Pishachi also. Right? Because they want some powers. I want to kill that man, so I am doing Upasana. There are people. Why? There are Hiranika Spiritu, Ravana Divya. Only to destroy others. Right? So those people want powers, Swargaloka. Simple. What is Swarga? A higher plane of enjoyment. Can a man agitated, selfish, egoistic, Materialistic man can go and sit in a music kacheri and enjoy it. 
even if it is beautiful. His mind goes on somewhere. You know, even in uh, these talks, you are six or seven, so you can't, I can see. If there are 100 people who are talking, they go on doing this. Right? Same thing with musicals. They are agitated. Agitated. So, he says, all of you are right. This is the beauty. All of you are right. Both people who go material things, you will get material things. People who go gods will get the benefits of God. People who do for subtle powers, you will get that also. You will get that also. Right? But if you understand properly, you will do the right things, get the best results. So they say, through duties, only permitted, you purify the mind. That purified mind, you use it for contemplation, meditation. Contemplation, meditation is not mere concentration. A lot of people think meditation is concentration. Contemplation is not concentration. In fact, it's going on thinking. Thinking is not making the mind still. That's called contemplation. You understand? Ajadaraya srotasa samam sarala chintanam viratapparam upadesharam of Sri Ramanapam. What is contemplation? Gurudev himself defines. To engage yourself in single line of thinking to the ex to similar line of thoughts to the exclusion of dissimilar thoughts. To the exclusion of dissimilar thoughts. That's contemplation. Right? So purify your mind. Contemplate. You will gradually Detach from false things, your divinity reveals, and one day you will assert that. That's called gradual liberation. You understand? You are taking this class for eight week. You are saying the same thing. No, there is a difference. Here today, I am demystifying to you, trying to relate everything to your life and under your control. You understand? And the supposing somebody is already uh, clear thinking, clarity, no agitations, proper vision, for him, Guru says one thing, he immediately understands. That's called Jeevan Mukti, Sadhya Mukti, Nana Marga. Same Sri Shankara here says, Shravana, Manana, Niti, Dhyasana are not three different things. If Niti, Dhyasana has to happen, your Manana has to be there. If your Manana has to be there, Shravana has to be there. It's not that they are three different things. Proper Shravana leads you to Manana, that will lead you to Niti, Dhyasana. So this is the theme of this book. That is, you choose what you want. You want to be God, you can be God. You want to be willing, slave to God, you can be. They encourage. It will come in this. Today it will come. They encourage. It. Willing slave to be God, they encourage. It. Who doesn't like somebody willing to be your slave? Who doesn't like? Right? So, that was the thing. And, but you can't force something higher on a man who is not prepared. He's not prepared. 
So do not say that's the only path. Give a path to suit him. That is how different paths are. Somebody is not ready for that. Do not condemn him. Give something that suits. Therefore, give him rituals, give him vipassanas. The vipassana also meditation on God's palacity or meditation, uh, contemplating on God's. Why is Krishna blue? Blue is the color of infinity. Why Pita Mara? Pita Mara is here. Infinity clad in matter. This is called contemplation. Infinity clad in matter. This is called contemplation. Each according to each you give. So here he takes us step by step. And then Pranavapasana was the last week class. How in you, the suras and asuras are there in you. The negative thoughts and the positive thoughts. They should all tune up to that substratum that supports both of them. Then they elevate themselves to that level. Because whatever you identify, that will become. If they tune to that, forcing them beyond the Sura and Asura, that which supports them, they become that Hiranyagarbha. That is Hiranyagarbha Upasana. In this, just last week I said something. There was a mistake in what I said. I said, children of Ditis are Suras because Diti means Dyotana illuminate. Dyotana illumination is correct. But the children of Ditis are Daityas, Rakshasas, half right, half wrong. Aditi, if Diti is illuminating, Sanskrit is correct. Aditi, Dull, not illuminate. But Aditi's children are Suras. How do you recognize it? Diti's children are Daityas. Aditi's children are Suras. How do you reconcile? It? Take a simple meaning which the Upanishad says. What does it say? Asuras are people who believe in what they see. What they see. Pratyaksha. So Diti, she is also supposed to be one of the preceding deities of Mother Earth. So, Diti are people for whom the visible material world is important. So, illumine to that. Illumine to that. So, therefore, they are Daityas. Aditi, self is not seen by anybody. It's not known. It is Shabda Pramana. It's not protection. It is not Pratyaksha, Shabda Pramana, Shastra Pramana. They depend upon Shastra. That is the definition Shankaracharya gives. For Suras, what the definition Shankaracharya gives is those who depend on Shastra, Shastra Pramana or Suras. Because seen world Pratyaksha, they do not. So in that way, it's reconciled. But Still, I cannot change history. Diti's children cannot be Devas. Diti's children are Asuras only. Right? Aditi's children are Suras. See, many of the things I say, you may not immediately understand. Do not close your mind. Let it work. That is the way you evolve in contemplation. If you close your minds, it doesn't work on you. If you keep it going on, someday you yourself will discover the revelations in you. Right? So that was last class, Pranavapasana. And the next is Purusha Vidha Brahmana. Purusha Vidha Brahmana. That is Ashra Brahmana, Ashramedha Brahmana, Agni Brahmana, Udgita Brahmana, Pranopasana. Next is Purusha Vidha Brahmana. The Virata Purusha only, Virata and Hiranyagarbha, 
is only Ashwa, Virata Hiranagarbha only was Pai, Prana. Now the Virata Hiranagarbha is Purusha Vida, you and me. Why you are going everywhere? Invoke all in you because you have all the devatas in you. You have all the devatas. Modern science has said it. Every cell in you is a hologram of the entire universe. Modern science. Every cell in you is a hologram of the entire universe. That means it contains the entire universe. Hologram means that. Right? So you are Virat. You are Virat. Ask in your house. They will say, sometimes you show your Vishwarupa. <laughs> right? You, you are Virat. So invoke in you. That's what the meaning of Anganyasam, Karanyasam. You know? Invoking God in this finger, this finger, this finger, this finger, here, here, right? And some people, if they have the head here, right? You invoke Anganyasam, Karanyasam. Hasta Yoho Indraha. Tattva Right? So invoke God in you. Meditation. And when you contemplate these different gods, different faculties in you, you automatically, through your contemplation, identify with that, you become that Virat. So whatever was done earlier is done same way here with Purusha Vita. So the fourth Brahmana is again going to be the same boring. No, fourth Brahmana gives you more of Brahma Vidya than Purusha Vida Upasana. Lot of Brahma Vidya. In, in fact, Aham Brahmasmi comes here. Yeah. Atma Eva Idam Agra Asi Purusha Vidaha. In the beginning, there was only this Atma, but he was in like, like a Purusha, means human being. How Atma has no name, Atma has no form. How can he be like a Purusha? That means here it is Virata Purusha. It's not the Brahman. Virata Purusha. Atma has to be understood only through a Guru. Because body is said Atma. Mind is said Atma in Taitiro Krishna. Intellect is said Atma. So you should understand the context through a Guru. Here, Atma Eva Idamakra Asi, Purusha Vidaha, in the form of a Purusha. How can Atma be like that? Here, Atma means Virata Purusha. Virata Purusha. Right? And you know, there is no much difference between Brahman, Hiranyagarbha, Ishwara and Virata Purusha. They are all the same because both Hiranyagarbha and Virat, remember they are Brahman. They, are, they have only borrowed those equipments to do their job. They never per forgot their nature. So there is not much of a difference. Therefore, you will even find sometimes one word using for the other. There is a lot of mixtures between Hiranyagarbha and Virata Purusha. Because they are the same. They are the same. So, and Saha, Anuvitya, Na, 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 na
Tataha, Aham Nama. And he took the body and he saw everywhere, nobody. He says, There's nobody. I am no, I are I am alone there. That is how Aham started. He says this book. I am alone there. So I am alone there. Is it big news? See her. No, see how beautifully he explains. Tata Aham Nama Abhavat. Tasma will api Itarkam Mantritohi Aham Ityeva Akra Uttva Atha Anya Anya Nama Prabhu De. Therefore, because he said, I am everybody, whatever you want to introduce anybody, anything, you say, I am, then say so and so. You say, I am, then say so and so. So therefore, what was there earlier was I am, Virata Garbha. Who was Virata Garbha? Brahman. So Brahman alone was there. It is a same text will come. Brahma Ayeva Yadamakrahasi. Three statements you have to understand. First he said, Nanyat Kinchana Asti. There was nothing before. Right? There was nothing before. Second, I alone was there. Third, Brahman alone was there. How do you understand? There was nothing before means no differences. It's all one Brahman. There is nothing means there are no things. Simple English. No things. No differences. Undifferentiated. Avyaprita Brahman. Avyaprita Brahman. So there is no contradiction. Ahameva Yadamakarasi, you are Brahman, there is no contradiction. Brahma Ayava Yadamakarasi, no contradiction. If you do not understand things through a proper guru, you will become a devil interpreting each of these things and arguing. Sa Yatpuru Asmat Sarvatma Sarvan. Yeah. Sarvan Papmana Aushadi Tasma Purushaha. Why is he called Purusha? Because he was the first to get rid of all sins. Sins means differences, mind. When he recognizes I alone am there, he all plurality ends. He has become pure. Since he, had, he is the first man to know the knowledge, he has become pure. First man, therefore, Purusha Pura means old. Earlier, old. He, he is called Purusha, so all of us are also called Purusha. One more thing here. Many of you may be fighting, at least later, with somebody when somebody is alone. All the time, your people talking of only Purusha, why not? Speak? Why only Purusha? Purusha means it's not man or woman. The one who is in this Puri, Navadvare Pure Dehi, is, that is called Purusha. It's not man or woman. Don't worry, none of you don't worry. We'll take it later. Yet Guru Asmat, Sarva Asmat, Sarvan Papuna Aushati. Tasma Purushaha, Voshatahi, Vai Satam, Yo Asma Purvu, Voshati, Yayam Veda, Falasmati, it will come everywhere. One who knows this will become the man to uh, clear its sins. How by knowing you will become? When you know that, when you understand that, you have become that, and therefore there is no individuality, the ego, all sins belong to the ego. All sins belong to the ego. And then, this, uh, I noticed it. last time only I listened uh, that this thing because I wanted to see what you put, everybody was talking. So I had to listen the whole thing. Otherwise, I never listen. When it comes to that, uh, your, your verses, this is my habit from childhood, it's going on. Now also, what is my habit? You know this. I say this my habit. Again, ask you what is my habit? 
Rohan asking it. You understand? Right? So, Avibhet, Tasma Vekaki Vibheti. Sa, Sa, Ha, I am Icham Chakre, Yen Madanyat Nasti, Kasma, Kasma Nu Vibheti, Vibheti. Tata Yeva Asya Bhayam Bhayam Viyaya Kasmat Abhishat Kasmat Yabhishat Viti Vyad Vai Bhayam Bhavati Viti Yad Vai Bhayam Bhavati He suddenly became frightened Suddenly became frightened and then he said, there is no other person than me. Why? Whom am I afraid? What am I to be afraid? Only two. Second one, you have to be afraid. Vitiyat Dhyam Bhavati. When there is a second one other than you, you have to be afraid. Whom am I to be afraid? What is this? He, you say he is God and he also gets fear. Yes. When you take the body, sometimes now and then, you are likely to get mixed up. But your knowledge, your foundation is so strong, you quickly come back. So he also got little this thing. Then he himself said, I am alone, I am there, whom to be afraid? I am alone, I am there, to whom to be afraid? Krishna in Bhagavatam, twice, he also gets confused. All split second. Because you take the body. You take the body. Shalva, through his magic tricks, brings his father there and tries to cut his Krishna for one second. How can this happen? Balarama is there. How can they bring for one second? Then he comes all right. You understand? Then that Maya disappears. But it will happen. It can happen. That's all you got on. When you've taken the body for a split second, it can happen, but you will come back. But you will come back. Next thing. Now, his trouble starts now. Savai Naivarame. That is, he being alone did not feel happy. He being alone did not feel happy. Why? Why should I alone suffer? Let somebody also be there to suffer. Right? Then what he did? Sir, VTM I said he wanted a second thing. Right? Sir, he Yetava Nasa, Yatha Sri Pumsamso Sam Parityakva, Sir, Yama. He wanted a second one. So uh, there is nothing other than him. Out of him itself, he produced a man and a woman. And then he gets married to a woman. And he himself is the man. He brings two. He is the man. And the woman, he gets married. And then progeny goes. The continuity goes. And here, his job is continued. Here, uh, you know, when there's why he is restless, because he is both Purusha and Prakriti, both Prakriti and Purusha, and he is now, he is now away from Prakriti. He is neither, he is not even Brahman. He is not Brahman. And Prakriti is not there for, with him. So there is incompleteness. There is incompleteness. To be complete in the manifest world, both has to be there, Prakriti and Purusha. That is all Ardhanarishwara concept. Ardhanarishwara once. Right? Not only that, here he gives an example. It is like a nut 
you know, this uh, even groundnut, you split it, it will be exactly two hours. Two hours in between space creates the difference in them, the space. Right? So he is like that, his own self divided. He is eager to make himself complete. Therefore, he runs after. He, he, make, he wants to make himself complete. Therefore, he runs after the other. That you will understand next two, three slopes. How we run out. Right? Because he himself is split like a nut. And he has to complete it. He has to become one. Therefore, he runs out. This concept is beautifully given in the Chinese Yin Yang. <coughs> Some of you who don't know, go and Google. Yin Yang. Yin is white or something. One color, half. Other is Yang, another color. They are two opposites, but complementary. Prakriti, Purusha, two opposites, but complementary. In that yin or yang, whatever, in the white portion, there's a black dot. In the black portion, there's a white dot. They're not completely diverse. They are opposites, but serving a common cause, complementary. That is what this Prakriti Purusha is also. Right? Try to Google, you will get this. That Google Mama is very helpful. <laughs> right? Sa, ha, I am enchanted to Katam no Matmana Yeva Jana Yitwa Sambhavati. He was running after her and she said, He created me. How can he run after me? He's my father. He created me. How can he run after me? He's my father. This, when does it happen? When you are different, I am different. When from my own self, I made two concepts in the dream. You are not different, I am not. Where there are two, you are different, I am different. Where he is the... The two husband and wife itself was brought out from him. Was brought out from him. Where everything is Brahman. Where is man? Where is woman? Running after who? So in the relative level, he, he is running after her at all okay. But the higher you go, the duality is not there. Even when the duality is there, for transactional purposes, you know it is all one. So therefore there is no question of running away. Anything has to be like that. Because everything is Brahman. The first husband and wife also has to be Brahman. Therefore the question doesn't come. So now this sloka gives step by step. This is the next. How creation takes place. He runs after her. He becomes a, she becomes a cow. He becomes a bull to chase. Like that, several things. Why all that? To tell you how creation comes. To tell you how creation comes. And then he realizes, because this knowledge is there, but the other, they feel he is chasing. But he has this knowledge. Saha Aved, he knew. Aham Baba is me. This entire creation is me. Where is the person of I and she or anything? Aham Yeva Sushti me. The creation is me alone. Not knowing this, it's there in our Bhagavatam. Westerners, one man especially, made a millions by doing a book. And Westerners, even today, misuse this and create conflicts because our people have never studied anything. Our people have never studied it. 
Brahma tried to chase his wife, Sar uh, the, uh, Saraswati, who is his daughter, because he created. Brahma tried to chase his daughter. It says in Bhagavatam also, Manus, the four sons, also got disgusted with father. How can he run after the daughter? Saraswati is his daughter. Right? What does it mean? Brahma is Vedas. Saraswati is the tongue. Vedas spoke and become corrupted. Vedas spoke and become corrupted. Because Vedas in their pure pristine glory beyond words. When it is spoken it gets corrupted. It loses its pristine, pristine glory. That is the corruption between Brahma and Saraswati. Saraswati is the walk. Brahma is the Veda. Understand? Don't worry. I know completely you can't understand. But it will work on you. Someday you will feel, yes, this is true. It will work. So if I had to wait for all of you to come to that level, you won't come to level that level without go on listening. Go on listening. Slowly they will work on us. And then this various species he has said, similarly Devas created also. He did this, some Deva came. Like that various actions, different Devas were produced. So one to six is the process of creation in the fourth Brahmana, Purusha with a Brahmana of the first chapter of the first Kanda. We are doing the fourth Brahmana of the first chapter of the first Kanda. Every Kanda has two chapters. First Kanda is called Madhu Kanda. It has two chapters. We are still on the first chapter. In that, each section is called a Brahmana. Each section is called a Brahmana. So, the sixth is different creations of God, right? And the seventh is very interesting. Tarki idam tatha, tatha idam. Tarki vyakrutamasi idam. Tan nama rupa vyameva vyakriyata. Aso nama na, na, nama yam idam rupa miti. Aso nama ha ayam idam rupa ha miti. Tadidam ap, ap e tarki nama rupa vyameva vyakriyate. Aso nama aso nama. I am Idam Rupamiti, Sa Esahi Pravistaha, A Nakat Grebya, Yathar Churaha, Churadane Avaita Syate, Vishwam Barova, Vishwam Barakulaye, Tamna Pashyamiti, Chakrun no hi saha, Prana neva prano nama bhavati, vadan bhakt, pasyam chakchu ti in the beginning. In the beginning, there was nothing. Nothing means what? No differences, undifferentiated. In the beginning, there was one undifferentiated entity. Other than that, what was there? Potential names and forms. Potential, when you sleep, how many of you are there? Only one, undifferentiated. In every dream, several things have come. What are all they? Nothing but names and forms. How names and forms may become active in dream? In each name and form, you reflected the consciousness. In each name and form, you reflected the consciousness. That dramatically here he says, Originally, they were all undifferentiated, only names and forms. In each name and form, he entered. Brahman, Brahman entered. 
It's dramatizing for you to understand. You should not literally take it. And how did he enter? That, what an example. Like a razor put into its cover. Like a razor put into its cover. He entered into each of the name and form. And then what happened? Yada Shuradhane razor case. Shuraha razor enters. Vishwambaraha fire which sustains the universe. Vishwambara Kulaye in the source of the fire. He entered into the source of this fire and became fire. And then Akrishnaha Pranan performing breathing Yevahi Prananama called vital food. And then he entered into the Air breathing faculty, he became prana. Likewise, in each of the things he entered, they are, before he enters, they are inert. They are matter inert. He enters, they become sensitized, animated, like your dream. Your dream thoughts were there in you, they didn't come from anywhere out. Your dream world did not come from anywhere out, your dream world or your thoughts only, your thoughts didn't come from anywhere out, they were all in you. They were all in you. Similarly, the, but till you entered, the thoughts were in us. They were there all the time. Similarly, the names and forms, the matter vestures, they were all there. When he entered, they become each fire, prana, like that they have all become. Particular functions, it is called the vital force. When it speaks, the vocal of organ. When it speaks, the vocal of organ, that is uh, walk, speech. Uh, when vadan, vadan, vadan speaking. When it is vadan speaking, it becomes walk. When it's Persian seeing, it becomes Chakchuhu. When it's Shrunvan, it, is, it becomes Srotram. When it is listening, it becomes a Iya. Right? So like that, it became the various things by Brahman entering into these things. So they, and therefore, he concludes, that's the beauty here, those people who see Brahman as one, the one who sees in the eye is Brahman. They say, one who hears is this. Like that, they only see parts of Brahman. Their knowledge, their power, their wisdom is partial. If you want complete experience, you should see them as a whole. So that he concludes, Sarvasya Yada Ayamatma Anena Anena Ki Yetat Sarvam Veda. You should see all this is nothing but Atman. If it is just one can find missing, those who he named, he meditates upon each aspect of this totality, does not know. Because being qualified by each aspect, it's incomplete. One should meditate upon it only as the Supreme Self. One should meditate as the Supreme Self. Sarvasya yad ayam atma atra hi ede sarvam eki bhavati ekam bhavati. Tadetad padaniya masya sarvasya yad ayam atma anena. By knowing this Atman, you know everything else. By knowing water, you know all waves and bubbles. By knowing gold, you know all the ornaments. By knowing the waker, you know all the dream characters. If you do not know, you think children. You think what they see alone is real. Blue Soraka balloon. They think that alone, when it breaks, they will cry. Understand. Similarly, all of us, we are all Sorakas, balloons only, meant to be burst. Right? 
when when you see the brahman everywhere everything becomes brahman see how beautifully he took the topic to bring here to bring here that brahman alone was all the divisions but when you see divisions you are limited you see the brahman you are all do you understand very important the seven if you see the divisions into which brahman entered you get the limited identity when you see brahman all you become all then what is this brahman how does it become all that is the beautiful verses coming verses 8 9 10 which we shall see tomorrow because it's already time sharda is holding us maintain your time sis right okay. okay we'll see next week don't worry i will somehow finish it right because i have lot of elbow space don't worry i have kept it and i will finish within that 15 minutes i have got elbow space because the moment i finish this four after that the next one little explanation after that not much so so okay. we'll do that om purnamada purnamidam purna purnamudachate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasikyate om shanti 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 hari om shri shri purnamada i am also scared Sadhi said, "Fifteen weeks." You said, "Sixteenth week, I won't come." So I have to finish in fifteen weeks. Arti, Arti. Thank you. Arti. Arti, are you ready? Come. Are you? Did you come? Any chance, sir? Any chance, sir? ओम श्री चिन्मय सद्गुरवे